Hey, this is Dan Reynolds uh, coming at you with a quick tutorial on how to make a neat little drum breakdown using granite. So here I have um, at the top, I've got a MIDI, a MIDI loop. Uh, that's my drum loop, at least the original drum loop. Some sort of breakbeat kind of thing. And then down here I have the audio so you can hear that it's the same thing. So that's just, I just took this and exported it and uh, Im re imported it into the project. So now I have an audio version. And then I also imported it into Granite. And it may be kind of hard to hear, but uh, here, this is the original in Granite. Now, um, I have granite at sort of a default setting. Um, I have the grain starting at, uh, well, it should be starting at 100%. This, oops, get that knob up there, there you go. So now the speed is at 100%. So if I take the gate off, it's gonna move at the same speed. Now it's not streaming audio, right? It's granular, so it's not gonna sound exactly the same, but it's the beginning of us having, and I put a, I put a little bit of reverb on it to mimic the fact that there was reverb in the original sample. And when, you, you know, when you're playing it back as, as individual grains, you lose that, uh, you lose a sense of that. So I, I just put a little bit of reverb on, not a lot. I got the speed going here at 100%. Uh, and then the density, I just have it zero. Although we could probably find like, a sweet spot. Yeah. Okay, so, and then I have um, retrigger on the gate. So that means when I enter a uh, MIDI note, it will play. And right now you see that I have the back half of my loop starting here. So it'll play starting here and then the cursor will just sort of move at the speed that the speed settings at uh, and if I play um, if I play middle C then the pitch uh, will be zero okay. so that's me controlling it with some MIDI input so here I have uh, on my MIDI I have MIDI controlling granite here and it's a pretty simple little breakdown I've, I set up here um, basically, I have uh, middle C playing for four measures, and um, then I have automated pitch, um, speed, density, and attack. And I just basically the idea I here I, I sort of start at a setting and then go off and then come back. The hope was just to come back, and on all of these things. Um, so it just sort of sounds like we're leaving our loop and then coming back to our loop. Um, and it just it gives a kind of sense of breakdown. Now, I don't spend a lot of time with it in normal mode. I'd rather have the audio sound like the normal audio. Um, but, uh, but yeah, let's check it out. So here I have my loop and then the first half of the loop and then the back half of the loop um, playing. And then we start our loop over again. So. So there you go. There's a quick way to automate um, granite in your project. Create cool musical effects, uh, breakdowns. You really could do a lot of stuff with it. Okay, this is Dan signing out. Cheers.